Oh, uh, no one. Uh. Monsieur Lee? It's a love hotel that closed down years ago. Perfect place to set up a mad scientist lab. Kaito-san, it's me. You find the place? We've got a building that looks the part, at least. We're gonna head in. Be careful, man. Yep. Let's do it. Right. Let's go, Yagami-san. Jeez, it's dark. What's the deal with this place? Hey, do you think this counts as trespassing? More or less. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Yagami-san, what do we do? Only one thing to do. We fight. What's wrong? Show me what you got. What's wrong? Show me what you got. What's wrong? I bet those weren't the last of them, Yagami-san. If anything, that was just a welcoming party. They'll know we're here, too. Probably have weapons next time. Guns, worst case scenario. Who are these guys anyway? Bums off the street, if I had to guess. Ichinose must have offered them a lot to do this. Yo, you guys okay in there? Yep, we're right on track. They've got guards too. There's gotta be something here. 
something like a secret lab, maybe? It'd be the perfect place. It's so dark you could carry a corpse in here and nobody'd ever know. Think you two can handle it on your own? Actually, I just thought of something. Can you call Mafuyu for me? Get her over here. And tell her to bring the cops. Huh? Why? Well, think about it. We're trespassing, yeah? Even if we do stumble on Shono's secret lab, the court would never accept evidence found illegally. Eh, calling the cops makes it all fucking better? Not exactly. Even they can't investigate without a warrant. Then why the hell are you trying to get Mafia shot over there? I've got an idea. Just talk to Mafia for me, okay? We'll keep looking for the lab. Got it. Dark. Hold on. We shouldn't go in there without a light. Who knows what's gonna be in here? Let's be careful. Damn it. I stepped in a puddle. For a door that doesn't even open. I tell you to be careful? I really like these shoes, too. Sukira, you're gonna give me a heart attack. Sorry, sorry. <sighs> what is it this time? Sukira? This isn't funny, man. Where are you? Almost there. Nice. Almost there.
Nice. Perfect. Segura! The hell? Can't you see I'm trying to have some fun here? <laughs> I give him three minutes, <laughs> and he's just another body! One man. <laughs> Don't mention it. Come on, let's keep going.
with this guy. I should probably keep my distance for now. Like this! Now's my chance.
got. What's wrong? Show me what you got. What's wrong? Show me what you got. What's wrong? the line. This is it. This has to be Shono's secret lab. Uh, you two! What are you? Shono. I didn't think I'd find you working at the scene of the crime. Guess our timing's pretty good. Sugira. Get some video of this place. Mm -hmm. uh, stop that! So all those Yakuza who got their eyes gouged out, you did it here, huh? Can't wait to see what turns up. The cops are gonna have a field day in this place. The victim's fingerprints, hair, bodily fluids, DNA. Can you imagine? Just how long I've been waiting to see evidence like this come to light. I... I don't know what you're... Huh? Huh? Uh, 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 Segura, what's wrong? I'm sorry, Yagami-san. I've been lying to you about everything all along, until now. What do you mean by that? I'm not actually ex Kajihira. That wasn't the truth. Neither was my name. Yagami-san, I... I actually know you from a long time ago. That's the whole reason I approached you. My real name, Yagami-san? Fumia Terasawa. Terasawa? I'm the younger brother of Emi. Who this bastard murdered? Uh, uh, Sugiro! Nobody move! You in the hood! Drop the knife! Now! You're under arrest for attempted murder. The cuffs won't be necessary. He's no longer a threat. Don't worry about your friend. We won't bother prosecuting him. Oh, yeah? No crime was committed here. But, sir, we can't just... You need to get forensics in here. There's a good chance a series of murders took place in this very room. And what brings you to say that? Kido told me about it. Unfortunately, we'll need a stronger premise than that. They would never issue a warrant on such grounds. <laughs> well, then it's a good thing I have a better reason lined up. Which is what? Trespassing charges against a rogue ex-lawyer. Which makes this... a crime scene. Guess you'll have to block it off. Preserve the evidence, you know? Yagami-kun... 
How clever. You don't mind being arrested if it means helping your investigation. I suppose this was your plan from the start. That's why you had Fujikun get the police involved. <laughs> you surprise me. Out of the way! Let me through! Vice Minister Ichinose! This place is under the Ministry of Health's jurisdiction. I demand you leave here at once. Huh. I didn't realize you guys were in the love hotel business, Vice Minister. It's a laboratory. Our top secret research facility for AD9. You have no idea of the fallout this could cause. Then let's find out. If you didn't notice, I just trespassed. Meaning, this whole laboratory is a crime scene now. Isn't that right? Hmm. I'm not sure that's going to work, Yagami-san. At least four people were murdered in here. I'm sure of it. The proof's right here in this room. So please, I'm begging you to help me here. What a conundrum. You see, none of that is my concern. What? Hey. You should be thanking your lucky stars we haven't beaten the crap out of you by now. <sighs> Shit, almost makes you feel bad for the poor guy. <laughs> Even if he deserves it. You smoke? Man, you're as soft as ever, Kaito Anaki. Humor me. According to you, this is a secret research facility for AD-9. Yes, Vice Minister? That's correct. Hmm. Our nation's government has invested countless resources into AD-9. It would seem rather foolish if we were to stop its momentum over this. I'm willing to overlook it for AD-9's sake. What? But, sir... Many thanks. Truly. I am in your debt. Of course, Vice Minister. Now, everyone is to evacuate the premises at once. I hope you can continue your research into 89 without any more disturbances. Let me assure you, Dr. Shono, this will not happen again. Is that so? Meaning, you're working for 89 too, aren't you, Chief Prosecutor? It's time for you to go home, Yagami-san. Just how long have you and Morita been working together? AD-9 has many influential supporters. There's no stopping our momentum. Bullshit, there's not. I am not gonna let you win that easy. 
Ah, oh yes. I should let you know that I just received a call from Director Kido. Kuroiwa sends his regards. Kuroiwa? Apparently, he rescued Kido. He's been freed. Local thugs have made Kamurocho too dangerous for him. The AD-9 conspiracy entangled the ADDC's director, Kido, the same man who had unveiled it to the world. An unfinished drug that exacted human sacrifice. Yagami believed he had finally found definitive proof. But even that was swallowed by the darkness. All for the greater good of a drug that would save humanity. You look worse than I was expecting. I hear Kuroiwa paid you a visit. Yep. Just him and that baton he's got. Beat the shit out of us. He took Kido, too. How'd things go with your stuff? We found Shono's lab, but the police are basically refusing to investigate it. Why? Chief Prosecutor Morita's defending 89. You for real? Whatever evidence was there is probably long gone by now. Yagami-san. Right. There's something else I need to tell you, too. What is it? This have something to do with Sugiura? Yeah, um... That's not actually his name. Huh? So you were Emi Terasawa's little brother, huh? Why'd you keep it a secret? At first, I wanted to make Yagami-san remember. Remember what? How he let my sister suffer. In my eyes, he was a scumbag who let a murderer walk. The murderer who then burned Emi to death. Damn, that's heavy. Go on. You don't have to hold back. Back then? I was just a shut-in fuck-up. My life was in shambles. Emmy was still there for me, though. When nobody else was. And then... Somebody murdered her. Someone as nice as Emmy. Dead. For no reason. But the world doesn't stop for that shit. It just keeps turning, and people go about their business. Over time, I started to hate what our whole society stood for. So I'm guessing that's what led you to start that burglary ring? Pretty much. At the very least, I didn't want to keep living my life for other people. You know, when Emmy died, Yagami-san didn't apologize. Not to me or to my parents. So that's when you guys first met, huh? Yup. We looked totally different back then, though. Had glasses and long hair, so I couldn't really see my face. That's why I didn't recognize you. Defending a murderer, you're just as guilty as he is. Those words cut deeper than you probably could have imagined. Even so, Okubo insisted he didn't do it. Since I was his lawyer, I couldn't apologize. 
That would essentially be admitting he was guilty. What about after the trial? I didn't apologize then, either. Instead, I ran away. Put it all behind me. Right. You didn't just walk away. You practically got disbarred. At least Okobo was getting the death penalty. It didn't feel good, but I settled for that. Then why'd you start hanging around Tuck again? Because he found his way back to the courtroom to deal with all this mole business. He even got a Yakuza captain off the hook. It's not like I suddenly just became a lawyer again. Sure seemed that way from my perspective. So, I wanted to see where your head was at. Find out if you'd forgotten what you did to Emmy. If you were gonna pretend like nothing happened, I'd make you remember. And I'd make you pay for it. And that's why you approached me. Yep. I wanted to know what Okubo was up to, too. Find out if he was as afraid of death as he should have been. If anyone was gonna go see him, it was you. But now, it's looking more and more likely Okubo was framed. And I never would have known if I hadn't teamed up with you. Ironic, huh? Three years later, the real killer's finally clear. And now it turns out... Shono... He's the one leading the charge to cure Alzheimer's! He gets to go down in history as a hero? For what? Stabbing my sister to death? Burning her body? Don't worry. Everyone will see him for who he really is once the truth gets out. You weren't there today. The whole fucking system is protecting him. He bent the truth, suppressed evidence right in front of me. What's the point of fighting that kind of battle, huh? It's bullshit! You saw it too, right, Yagami-san? Right? Look, Sugira. Ever since Emi-chan died, I've been running away from the truth. I was worried. Worried I wasn't gonna like what I found, that maybe I was responsible for her death. It was killing me. I couldn't bring myself to face it all. Talk. If you ask me, Everyone has something they're trying to hide from themselves. But sometimes facing your fears is the only way forward. The real reason you came to me is because deep down, you wanted to know the truth. That sound about right? still true, we have our work cut out for us. We're gonna chase the truth as far as we can, even if it's in vain. Yeah, but all our paths are blocked. Who the hell cares? We'll blaze our own path then. Right, Tuck? <laughs> yeah. You guys are out of your goddamn minds. It's Mafuyu. What's up, Mafuyu? I need to speak with you about Morita. Wait, you're still here in town? Yes. I'm waiting at Tender. Do you think you could come meet me here? I... I think I'm being followed. What? It felt like someone was watching me all the way to the bar. I don't believe I'm imagining it. More of those bums the Ministry of Health hired? Or maybe one of the Chief Prosecutor's men. All right, I'll be right over. Thank you. I'm coming with. Igashi, keep an eye on Sugiura while we're gone. Huh? Why do... <sighs> Fine. Let's hit it.
Thanks for coming. How did it look outside? Did you see anyone suspicious? Not particularly. Seemed fine to me. Mind if I sit? What happened to your face? What? This? It's nothing. You said you wanted to talk to me about Morita? Yes. Specifically about how he acted tonight. It's hard to imagine the Morita I know doing that. It's almost like... He's a different person. Almost like... He cared more about politics than the law. Not surprising. He's right in the middle of this 89 mess. Thing is, Morita is the reason I decided to become a prosecutor. When my mother was killed in a hit and run, he was there to give me courage, show me a way forward. I've heard. That said, as for why he has an interest in protecting 89, I might have an idea. Hmm? About 10 years ago, something happened to his family. Perhaps that's what changed him, made him look the other way on this. What happened? Uh, hold on. I'm not entirely sure my theory is correct. It wouldn't be fair if I misrepresented the facts. However, I just spoke to a former police detective who handled that case. I'm about to get the case file from him. Where? We're meeting at the children's park. But it felt like I was being followed, so I didn't want to go alone. So, that's our job here? We're your bodyguards? Yes, at least... That was the plan, but seeing what already happened to you... You think a couple of scratches are gonna slow me down? We'll do it. Right, Doc? If you let us see the case file, what do you say to that? Of course. It's a deal, then. We'll be your escorts. Oof, that's cold. Extorting the poor girl? Guess chivalry's dead, Mafia-chan. Ready? The detective is waiting for us. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. Well, do you see anyone? Not yet. There. Guess you were right on the money, Mafia Chan. Looks like they want to fight, too. Yep. Those aren't let's chat over some coffee faces. So what? Are they gonna follow us the whole way like that? What should we do? You back off a bit. We'll take care of them. Let's go, Kaito-san. You got this! Ma for you! For me, Mafia Chun? Hang in there too, Kaito san! Now we're talking! Alright, Mafia Chun's watching, so let's not screw this up! Yeah! 
Please. He should already be here. You said he's an ex-detective, right? Yes. Let's hit it. Uzawa-san, yes? Yep. That's me. Huh? Huh? Oh, you're the detective from before. Oh shit, Yagami. You used to be on the force? How'd you end up so scruffy? I gotta ask you the same thing. Y you two know each other? 
Why'd you bring these chatterheads along? Uh, well, uh, Yagami-kun, he's... He's sort of my boyfriend. What? Since when? It's not like that. Then why are you blushing? It's comedy hour over here. So, what do we have in the case? Ten years ago, Chief Prosecutor Morita's older brother strangled their mom to death. But why? A caretaker murder. Their mother was over 70 at the time, afflicted with a severe case of Alzheimer's. And they were taking care of her. Yeah. It's hard to say what a dementia patient will do if you take your eye off them, even for a second. She apparently used to leave the stove on after she cooked or wander out in the middle of the night. None of the homes had any openings for her either. Ultimately, Morita's brother took care of their mom by himself. Seems he put the burden entirely on his own back. He quit his job and moved in with their mother, all to 